Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my last video of 2017. I know I haven't filmed for you guys and I always come back with the same excuse. I feel like a broken record already. I It was Christmas, the holidays, there's family over and I just like to spend the time with my family. And also a week before Christmas, I wasn't uh, 100% okay. Um, I, you know, had a little, like, medical issue, <laughs> I could say, uh, and I was in bed for, like, a week prior to Christmas, so it was madness here, and I'm, thank God everything is better, thank God I'm better, and I'm ready for 2018 to have more videos for you guys and to keep this channel filled with videos. Also, I, as I wasn't posting on here, I did post on my vlog channel that I have with my girlfriend. So if you guys would like to see, you know, a little behind the scenes and me with no makeup, <laughs> then I will leave the links to those vlogs and my vlog, 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 vlog channel down below so you guys can check it out. But this video is about my worst products of 2017 worst makeup products that I tried worst products that I bought and these are products that I actually tried and they literally did not work out for me and I do not like them definitely don't recommend them I always like to start off with the bad and then move into the good so since I'm starting off with the worst products I will be having my best products of 2017 as my next video I don't have that many products which makes me happy because that means that all the makeup products that I bought in the whole year, uh, only these few products didn't work out which means that the, all the other makeup I bought worked out which is always a plus. The first product from Laura Geller is this big baked color and contour compact kind of thing and it's a huge compact this like look it's almost the size of my hand it's humongous and this is a bronze highlight and blush set which in theory I thought was super cool and I really like the colors I mean if you look at it they look pretty bomb but when you swatch them they're not the bronzer part is looks like orange like I literally am rubbing orange shadow on my face which looks hideous the highlight looks like this powdery white color it doesn't look glowy it doesn't look sh not even shimmery to save it it just looks like a powder and it says it's a highlight it's a really ugly highlight that I I mean look it, you would think it's like this bomb ass highlight until you swatch it and it just looks like powder I don't like it. And then the blush is just too like frosty for me and I was like okay maybe the blush will save it and I can use a blush but it's honestly a waste of money just to buy this and use only the blush. Especially because if you're only going to use the blush other products are definitely going to be in the way and this was just a hot ass mess and I honestly did not like it. And I wouldn't recommend it. And it's in the color Sunset Glow, in case you're wondering. <laughs> but don't wonder, because I wouldn't recommend it. The next thing is a highlighter and a blush. Now, this blush is super popular. Not as popular as their most popular <laughs> highlight, but it's pretty popular. And it's the Peach Glow Baked Gelato Illuminator. Now, I saw... Who did I see? I think Orpha wear this highlight and it looked stunning on her. And when I swatched it in the store, it looked like the most stunning highlight. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. I need to buy it now. And then I got home and I swatched it and it didn't look the same. I tried to put it on. You can barely see it on my skin. It doesn't look as pretty as it did in store in the swatch. So my theory is that I swatched a different color <laughs> instead of this one, which was the color that I thought was super stunning. And this one, I just don't like it. I've tried it a bunch of different times. And every time I don't know what to wear, I'm like, oh my gosh, let's try this one. Maybe it'll work this time. And, you know, no. So there's a the color. Uh, you can barely even see it. 
And I mean, I'm pretty pale, so I thought that I would be able to see it on my skin and it would be like super, like way, way bright on my skin. Definitely is not. It kind of reminds me of this one up here from that other palette from Laura Geller that just looks like powder. That's what it looks like on my skin. And it's not even glowy or glittery or sparkly or nothing to even save it. So this was a hard pass for me because I was like, I really, really wanted it to work. Now the next thing is a blush. Now this blush, maybe it's my fault for buying this color, but it's a baked blush. I have other baked blushes from like, what's the other brown? Hourglass from MAC. And I can like pack that on and it will still not look how this looks. Like I get that it's the color. I bought it like in spring and summer. So the color was just like, you know, it was like, buy me, we're in spring and summer. Like, yeah, cute. And now with this, I literally have to tap my brush in like that. Do you guys see that color it picked up already? Like, and then I have to like pat it onto my skin, like barely pat it because it's incredibly, incredibly pigmented. And if you like try to barely tap it, you pick up nothing. So there's no in between with this. I mean, I feel like it'll look nicer on deeper skin tones. It definitely looks like someone slapped me when I wear this. I mean, the time I wore it, which was a couple of times when I tried it, and it just didn't work. Like, it ruined my makeup. Once you apply blush, this color, super pigmented on the skin, it's very hard to be able to remove it or, like, tone it down, especially because it's a baked blush. So once it goes on the skin, it feels like it's, like, like sucked onto the skin and there forever until you remove it with a makeup wipe. So, yeah. This was a no-go. Um, and this thing that I kind of like just sneak peeked. These style of brushes I feel like were the biggest gimmick, in my opinion, uh, of 2017. I do not like them. I tried different brands. I hated all of them. They just don't work for me. Like, please don't believe the Instagram videos where they go with the brush and it's like flawless. Because it doesn't happen. Like, I tried it. I was like, I want to look like that. I want to look like perfect, flawless foundation. Because these brushes, they recommend them. And they're the best thing of life. And, you know, you're missing out if you don't use them. Don't fall into that. Just buy yourself a $6 Real Techniques sponge. Comes in a two-pack. It's like $6.99. That will give you a flawless application. This makes my foundation look like ass. Literally. So I do not recommend these at all. I try to do my concealer with the smaller brush. I try to do my foundation with this. I even tried to apply powder with this. I looked like a cake. Not a cute cake. Like a ugly little homemade cake. That's what I look like. So it does not work. I do not like these brushes. And I hate that people keep recommending them to beginners because it's the worst tip worst thing you can do recommend these to beginners who are just starting out in makeup because these brushes like they do not work they do not give you the flawless perfect immaculate application that instagram people tell you they do it just looks cool to apply them but i mean i've watched some other videos they go like this and then their makeup is perfect Girl, I don't trust you. I don't know if you applied your whole foundation with this. Okay? Moving on. The next thing that I didn't like, probably the worst of the worst of the worst, the thing I hated the most that I bought was this foundation from The Balm Cosmetics called Even Stevens. It literally has nothing about evening out anything on your face. My face, my foundation, literally looked like dog shit on my skin. It crumbled nasty. It got into like these little balls the more I try to blend it. I tried to apply it with a brush, a kabuki brush, a like fluffy brush, a stippling, stipple brush, a beauty blender, a real technique sponge. This foundation is the worst foundation I have ever purchased in my time purchasing foundations. And I hated it so much. It's a thick foundation. It says it's a whipped foundations. And it's 
uh, light medium whip foundation sucks ass foundation I hate it foundation full coverage lying ass foundation I do not recommend this foundation I can't even use it to clean up my eyebrows because it made my under like my brow bone area look like dog shit dog shit I don't recommend this foundation. It sucks. It sucks so, so bad. And I tried mixing it with other foundations. I tried it on its own without a primer. I tried different primers with it. And I, I just gave this foundation, like, the biggest benefit of the doubt of life. Like, I literally still tried this foundation, like, two months ago. I'm like, it's going to work this time. You know, it's it, it'll work this time. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work at all. I do not recommend this foundation. Do not buy it at all. It's dog shit. And it looks like literal dog shit on the face. Sorry the bomb, but that foundation is a no-go. Next, this highlighter. I was so excited for these highlighters. So I bought one, you know, naturally. It's a ColourPop pressed powder face. That's what it says in the front. And it's a pressed powder face highlighter. And then under it, it says bronzer. So I don't know if they did that to save a label and not put, not make two labels, like one for a highlighter and one for a bronzer, or if it's a highlighter slash bronzer. This particular color, which is, what is the color? What is the color? It doesn't have the name of the color. I don't have the box. But this specific one was, um, advertised as highlighter which is why I bought it if you open it, it looks like a highlighter this doesn't look like a product that would be a bronzer for anyone even if you're like super 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 light skinned this will not be a bronzer no way shape or form now when I swatch it it looks like a highlighter right this is my swatch watch that's how much color is on there. Now let me try it. That's how much color is on there. Here's my swatch. There's the color. Where's the color? Where's the color? Oh, there it is. Barely. This, like, it's like crumbling apart from how hard I have to rub into it to even get color. And that's with my finger. I've tried like rubbing it with a brush and nothing goes on the brush. So I don't, I do not get these. I don't know if it was just this color. I don't know what the F, but this did not work out for me. Two other things that didn't work out. And these I'm annoyed. This is a NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. The reason I don't, I like this when I first used it. I hated it at the end because I didn't even use half of the product and it dried out. And that annoys the out of me because I should be able to use more than half of the product. Let's let's give it more than half before it dries out. And the reason it looks like that is because I moved it around so I could reactivate it and put stuff in it and it just didn't work. It ended up just smelling funky and this was total, it looks like total dog shit. And I'm so disappointed because I really really wanted to like this but I didn't even get to use half of the product and it dried out. It's a waste of money. The next product is also a brow pomade, which I have the same issue with. So annoying. This is a Milani Stay Put Brow Color, and I really like this one as well. Um, and this one I recently bought and I recently started using, and I barely have a dip in it, and it already dried out, which annoys the out of me because... Again, I should be able to use more than a little dip of it and before it dries out. So annoying. So I do feel like that's so annoying and such a waste of money when I can't even get my money's worth. Because this was like barely a dip. Maybe have a month using this product and it already dried out. And I'm not the type of person to leave my products open. Uh, especially this because I know what it is. I make sure to open it. Apply it. Done. Close it right away. Close it really tight. Keep it in my drawer. And it's still dried out. So annoying. 
The only palette that I have that I didn't like this year, which is amazing because I have bought so many eyeshadow palettes and this is the only one that I didn't like. And it's by Beauty Creations. I bought it on uh, Shop Hush, which you guys know I love that website. But this brand of product in particular, I didn't like. The Beauty Creations Irresistible Palette. And I bought this because it looked like a dupe to the Modern Renaissance Palette, which it kind of was. But... Let me zoom in. Focus. Do you guys see that around this eyeshadow? How it looks wet? I haven't opened this palette in like three months since I stopped using it back then when I first bought it. I used it like twice. Like it's okay, but I wouldn't definitely say it's like a really good modern renaissance dupe. It, it does the job, but it doesn't have the, the same pigmentation. It doesn't pack the same amount of punch as a modern renaissance that does. So I definitely don't feel like it was a really, really great dupe that I would like to recommend. And especially if this is going to happen right here, this... I, that does not seem safe to me. I do not like that. I did not wet this palette. I don't know why it looks wet. I don't know if it's the oils or what. That just does not seem right to me. And it's definitely going in the trash. And last two products. I only have two lip products, which is amazing. And this one, this specific one, because I have two other ones and I love the formula on those. This, on the other hand, I hated the formula on this specific color. And I think it's just because it's a dark color. Dark liquid lipsticks are super, super hard to find. Um, and this one, it wasn't a good one. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Lip Liquid Lipsticks in Goth Topic. This color, again, patchy, butthole lips. Super, made my lips feel super crusty and dry. And I normally don't have that issue with any of my liquid lipsticks. Because, I mean, I have my favorites already that are bomb. Never make my lips feel like that. This one, on the other hand, like, it was the first time I was experiencing, like, crusty, dry feeling lips. And it felt gross. And I do not recommend this color. The other color, I don't remember the name of it. But those did work. And those didn't dry out my lips like this one did. And lastly, the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. I think a lot of people like these. I'm not sure they like the dark colors because I didn't see anyone review the dark colors. I didn't like this one. I might try the lighter colors, but for the most part, I hated this one, this formula. The formula is very goopy and glossy, and I don't like that. It has like a, like a, 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 like a licorice scent. I personally, I don't like licorice. And there's this other look, the black licorice. I don't like it. And that kind of has a smell like that. And it's just like a thick, glossy formula, which is annoying because if you don't let it dry on your lips without them rubbing or touching together, then you have a hot ass mess lipstick. And the lipstick will move and it just will not look cute at all. At all. Definitely, definitely don't recommend this one. Um, like I said, I might try the other colors, but the smell is kind of off-putting for me. So I kind of will stick to my rider dyes that I already know about. So that's finally it. Um, I know I did talk a lot, but I did only have a little bit of products, which makes me think that I'm only going to have a longer video for my favorites, which I will try not to. But I want to thank you guys so, so much for getting me to 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so, so much. My, my goal for the end of the year was to reach 2,000 subscribers on this channel um, before I made it into 2018, and we have surpassed that. So thank you. Thank you guys so, so much. I am coming back ready for videos non-stop for you guys. Um, I'm so happy Babe got me a ring light, which is what I'm using right now because it is 11.35 at night and I'm filming this video for you guys, which I had never done because I never had the right lighting to be able to film at night. You guys know I always use natural lighting and filmed in the day. And now I have two soft boxes right here and the ring light, which thank you so much to Babe because now I will be able to do videos whenever I want because 
we have the equipment. So I'm so, so grateful, so thankful for you guys here on my channel for always supporting me and commenting, subscribing. Thank you so much. I have a lot planned for 2018 for this channel and I'm super, super excited. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you all in my new video in the next year. Bye.